welcome to today's challenge here we have a challenge before us a math problem before us the question is x all over y equal to 2 all over 3 at the same time we was given that x to the power of y equal to y to the power of x what there will be the value of y minus x now if you take a critical look at this expression you will discover that um our x will be um, greater than zero and also y will be greater than zero now if you take a look at the first expression here you also note that your y will be greater than x right okay so another assumption again is that y will be greater than your x so how do we now solve for the value of y minus x giving these two expressions above here now it's easy so let's take our solution take our solution now if we look at the first expression i may give this one or i can give this equation one and i will give this equation two so from equation one i want to make x the subject of the formula your x is equal to two times y so we have two all over three or e to y all right now if you look at equation two Look at our equation 2, this expression here. Let's go ahead and substitute the value of x from here into this equation 2. So doing that, dx will give us here your 2 all over 3, okay? y or to the power of y equal to our y or to the power of your 2y all over 3, close bracket okay so what we do here yeah we want to make either the base to be same or the exponent to be the same so what we do i want to rewrite this exponent so dx we give us here your two y all over your three all to the power of y equal to let's bring in a square bracket so into our y all to the power of your two y all over your three okay so if i decide to bring out this y then let me cancel out this y here so we're going to have two all over three all to the power of y easy this has not really changed anything from here we can see a pattern playing out here if you recall remember that if we have your a to the power of your x equal to b to the power of your x this implies that your a is equal to b since the exponents are the same so the basis will be the same so if we anchor on this then this and this are the same so this now implies that our 2y all over 3 is equal to our y to the power of 2 all over 3 easy all I need to do here is to um, take the cube of both sides to eliminate this cube root. Okay, so I want to cube both sides of the equation. So this to the power of 3 and this to the power of 3. Easy. So this 3 goes with x. So we are now left with 2y all over your 3 all to the power of 3 equal to your y squared good so what do we do next here so we cannot use this power to open up everything inside so if we do that we're going to have this to be your eight y to the power of three all over 27 okay this is equal to y to the power of two yeah divide by y to the power of two we call it divide this side by y to the power of two so this this we left with one one which is one so one of this we go with sorry two of this we go with two from here so we left with y and so we have our equation to be eight y all over 27 is equal to your one we're looking for y so just cross multiply because this is all over every stable one so if we cross multiply we're going to have eight y is equal to 27 divide by 8 divide this side by 8 cancel cancel out so we'll now succeed 
having our y is equal to 27 all over 8. All right. Now, so we succeeded in looking for our y. Then, if you look at the beginning, we have also succeeded in looking for our x. Look at x here. From this expression, where we have x equal to 2 all over 3 into y, we can now substitute the value of our y into that expression. So, from that ex expression, so we can now bring that expression, which is y, sorry, x is equal to your 2 all over 3 y. So, this will now give us 2 all over 3 into 27 all over 8. Easy. So, 2 year 1, 2 year we have 4. 3 year 1, 3 year we have 9. Therefore, our x will automatically give us 9 all over 4. Alright. So, now that we succeeded in getting our y and our x, look at our y here and our x here so what do we do let's go and look for our y minus x okay so we just substitute so substituting our y is given to be 27 all over 8 minus and our x is 9 all over 4 okay so if we carry out our arithmetic here this will give us here uh, 8, so we have all over 27, then minus 2, so we have 18. Simple. So if we carry out this arithmetic, this will automatically give us 9 all over your 8. So therefore, we cannot say y minus x is equal to 9 all over 8. Okay, as easy as ABC. All right, so this is the value of our y minus x as given in the question, our original equation. Yeah, where we have x all over y equal to 2 all over 3 and x to the power of this. So we succeeded in looking for our y minus x as given in the question. All right, so this marks the end to this simple challenge. If you get something, you learn something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any question with regard to this challenge, to this solving, drop it in the comment section. We are there to respond to your comment. Thanks for always be there. Again, Jakes is my name. Do not forget to subscribe. More videos to be released. Bye for now.